The Children's Advocacy Center concept evolved as a way to counter the fact that child victims of abuse were often re-traumatized with their encounters with the legal system that was trying to help them. By 1994, there were 13 centers in Texas, but they could only do so much on their own. Recognizing the potential in the concept, the Texas legislature codified CAC standards in the Texas Family Code and created our statewide membership association. Since then, we've led the way in developing practices and standards for assisting these vulnerable children while helping launch CACs across the state. We're working to expand the reach and depth of our services. Our geographic footprint has grown rapidly over the last two decades, but every year almost 3,000 child sexual abuse cases are assigned for investigation in 91 Texas counties outside of our service area. These children lack direct access to our full range of services, and local authorities miss out on the collaborative partnerships that have proven so effective. We're deepening our services by training more clinicians in evidence-based therapy, making accommodations for child victims with special needs, and providing broader access to victims' medical assessments. But we need resources to improve. As a public-private partnership embedded into the system, our mix of agility and credibility enables us to influence positive outcomes in the investigation of crimes against children from the inside out. Each of our 66 CACs is unique to the local environment and culture, yet similar in the evidence-based practices and compassionate professionalism. Together, they collaborate with 600-plus law enforcement jurisdictions, 200 district and county attorney offices, and every CPS region in Texas. As an organization, our commitment to research enables us to play a leading role in defining best practices that are transforming the way our nation treats child victims of abuse. Our number one asset is our people, a network of trained, compassionate professionals on the front lines and in our state office who treat every child in the system as they would their own. Our people never stop asking, what's next? How can we do this better? And who can we get to help us? This has led to partnerships with the police, medical, legal, and child protective organizations, as well as leading minds at Texas universities whose research informs our procedures, processes, and major decisions. Enthusiastically committed to evidence-based practices, our team embraces necessary change for continuous improvement. Someone once told me, you don't get what you expect, you get what you inspect. We inspect and measure everything meaningful at CACTX. We use a client satisfaction survey to ensure our headquarters team is hitting the mark with our centers. We use an outcome measurement system to ensure that the centers are meeting the needs of their clients and collaborative partners. We also assess trauma and depression levels in our child victims at the beginning and end of their counseling cycles to measure our effectiveness. All of this data is aggregated, interpreted, and integrated into our continually improving processes. People sometimes wonder where exactly CACs, and by extension, our nonprofit, fit into the continuum of care for child victims. We get involved at the beginning of an investigation, when the abuse is first reported. CACs are also the primary providers of therapeutic care to child victims of sexual abuse. 90% of sexual abuse victims will remain in their home of origin rather than entering our state's foster care system. This causes them to miss out on state-provided recovery services. Considering the depth of trauma they've experienced, our network must have the support and expertise to provide interventions to this vulnerable population. Working together, we have multiplied the number of CACs in our state and transformed therapeutic approaches taken with victims across the country, emphasizing quality outcomes and diligently measuring our progress. After developing the forensic interview training curriculum for Texas, we've been asked to help other states build their own. I'm also proud of our efforts to bring evidence-based mental health practices to our network. We've trained over 100 clinicians on a proven modality, and after 15 sessions, their child clients experienced, on average, a 50% decrease in depression scores and trauma symptoms upon completion of this therapy module. There is a stigma attached to sexual abuse, so child victims don't readily report it, nor do other family members who could help. We address that with our One with Courage public awareness campaign. 
In addition, due to the confidential nature of our work, a lot of people don't know who we are. We also need more information to continually refine and validate our data-driven approach. Financially, in an era of unpredictable government dollars and donors who tend to be more locally focused, it can be tough for our statewide organization to get the resources needed for initiatives aimed at systemic improvement. We not only track every penny, but we work to be ready for the next phase of development whenever the funds become available. The big check came in the door tomorrow. We'd work to offer more extensive mental health services, training, and support for the center's clinicians. We'd also dig into research happening at UT right now and begin implementing solutions to increase access to medical assessments for victims of abuse. Finally, we'd restore funding for comprehensive programming for CAC family advocates. So feel free to step up and contribute so we can do even more. In the grand scheme of things, the whole CAC concept is still pretty young. While we've established the essential building blocks like child-focused forensic interviewing techniques and trauma-informed therapies, we will still add services aimed at improving family advocacy and access to medical care for victims as we mature. We must also find new ways to reach children in remote rural areas. Ultimately, we believe that every Texas child alleging abuse should have access to the full array of comprehensive CAC services and every community to not only understand the dynamics of child abuse, but also to act decisively to protect their children.